Right, part A is actually really easy. When you want to multiply decimals, the first thing I would do is, is just pretend the decimal points aren't there, okay? So the first number then would read as four if the decimal point wasn't there. And you've got to multiply it then by the second number, pretending the decimal point isn't there, it would just be eight. So four times eight then, you can do that easily because four times eight is 32, okay? But then looking at the actual question, we do have 0 0.4 here, don't we? And we do have 0 0.8 here. Now the quick way then of using this answer, okay, to work out this, is quite simply look at how many decimal places there are actually in the question. So you've got one decimal place here and another decimal place here. Now in total then we've got two decimal places. So we can use this answer to ensure that we've got two decimal places and the three and the two will be our two decimal places, won't they? Which means the decimal point must go before the three there and then we have zero so my answer is 0 0.32 and always check you know you've got two decimal places here so you must have two in the answer so with b then okay we've got to in this case subtract one fraction from another now when you're taking away fractions or when you're adding or taking away it doesn't matter right you've always got to ensure that you have a common denominator okay in other words the value on the bottom of the fractions must be the same when you take away now they're not the same here aren't they they're not the same so we need to change one of the fractions maybe in some instances we have to change both fractions but in this case one of the fractions we can change and then we can do the subtraction now if you look at that second fraction there i can change that five can't i so it becomes a ten okay so let's just write that fraction down one fifth Okay, let's not worry about the, the minus in front of it for the minute. Let's just look at the one-fifth. Let's change it so we have 10 on the bottom. Okay, right? So you've got to ask yourself now, well, what am I doing to that 5 to get to 10? Okay, what am I doing to it if I change it to 10? Well, of course, I'm doubling it, aren't I? I'm doubling it. I'm timesing it by 2, scaling it up. But if I times the bottom by 2 to make it 10, I've got to do the same to the top. Otherwise, they won't be equal. So I've got to times the top by 2. And 1 times 2, of course, is 2. So I've changed 1 fifth to be 2 tenths. And if I go back to the question, I'll end up having 3 tenths. Take away then, well, I can write it as 2 tenths, can't I? And then that's easy, because if I got 3 tenths, take away 2 tenths, I end up with 1 tenth, don't I? Okay. All right. So there's my answer. Now, with C then, we need to subtract a decimal, Okay. Now, whether you're adding or taking away decimals, the key thing is, is that you line it up. Okay, we'll do the subtraction, in this case, in the column. But you line up the decimal points. So if I write 14.8 first, nice and big, when I write 6.35, I need to write the 6.35 here because I need my decimal points lined up. Okay, and then I've got all the place value for each number in the right place. Okay. So we're going to take away. Now, we've got nothing up there. So a lot of you would say to me, well, put a zero there. Okay, and I agree with you. Let's put a zero there. Okay. And then let's do the subtraction. Well, zero take away five. Well, of course, zero take away five. If you think about it, we can't do, can't we? We can't take five from nothing. So we have to borrow from that eight there. And if I borrow from the eight, it becomes a seven. And the one I borrow, I place here. So then 10 take away five, I've got, which works out to be five. 7 take away 3 there, so I've got 7 there, take away 3 is 4, easy peasy. Remember to put line up the decimal points, we've got that in our answer. 4 take away 6, I can't do, so I borrow that one, which means I've got nothing there now. And the one I borrow, I put here, so that becomes 14, take away 6, which is 8. And I've got nothing here then in our tens column, so my answer is 8.45.